you out of my head Try to stray Try to forget But the thoughts they seem to drown me instead You guys, welcome back to another crochet tutorial! <laughs> Today we are crocheting this beautiful, imperfect leftover yarn sweater <laughs> So as a little backstory for you, I was at the Google Pixel event where they launched their new Google Pixel 8 Pro. The whole campaign is based on outtakes or more imperfections. And I thought it would be perfect to feature the imperfections and to embrace them with this project, the imperfect crochet sweater. So this beauty got designed by different people on the event. <laughs> And here are some clips, so enjoy! So I asked strangers at the Google Pixel event to pick a color and the random number and their number represented the next upcoming stitches of the sweater with the color they chose. Also die Farbe ist dunkelblau und ich sag 99 Stiche. Ähm, gelb und 23. Uh, pink. 40. Perfect. Also einmal die orange, gelb und 35 mal. Türkis? 8. 10. <lacht> 18. Weiß? Äh, 15. Ich nehme die 99. So as you saw, that's how this beauty happened. <laughs> and based on this, I created the rest of the sweater. And I filmed everything with my new Google Pixel 8 Pro. Not just because it's so handy and pretty, but also because the camera is so good. I think the video shows it best, <laughs> but like the zoom and the quality is crazy. So if you want to check out the new Google Pixel 8 Pro, make sure to click the link in the description. And thank you so much to Google for sponsoring today's video. I feel very honored and now I'm gonna go back to filming and let's create this beautiful imperfect sweater and embrace all the imperfections of life. Mm. And I hope you're excited and I hope you're going to understand everything I tried to explain. <laughs> I tried my best and if you wanna see some more things or creations, you can check out my socials and don't forget to send me some pictures of your recreations because this is what well, makes me the most happy. I love seeing your recreations. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's start right into this beautiful crochet tutorial. Ah! <laughs> it takes to fill this empty void inside But now I've realized You are what I needed this whole time Let's start with everything you need. It's only your leftover yarn and your hook. I would recommend to use like the same yarn types. For example, I'm only gonna use cotton yarn and I'm gonna make sure that they're all very similar to each other so that not one is a lot thicker than the other yarn. I hope you know what I mean, just for them to be kind of same. Of course, you could also use a bit more fluffier one, but just make sure that it's fine to use them together and you that you don't need also different hook sizes um, just make sure that you're fine with one so for me i'm gonna use cotton yarn and my loved um, 4.0 millimeter hook um, and that's everything you need let's start <laughs> so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna create a front and the back piece it's like just two squares um, I did a length of 60 chains, um, but I'm going to show you how to find your perfect um, chain length. Um, for me, 60 is perfect because I'm going to do a very oversized look, so it's kind of like a very oversized medium fit, I would say. We're going to crochet a square for the front and the back part of the top of the sweater. And then we're gonna connect and in the end we're gonna add the sleeves. And for the start, you can choose your favorite color, whatever color you wanna go for. For me, I'm just gonna go for this brown. And we're going to start with a slip knot. If you're not um, familiar with the basic stitches, 
um, that we're using. Um, for example, the slip knot, the slip stitch, um, chain up or whatever. There are going to be more detailed beginner friendly tutorials for the single stitches down below. So if you want to have a look back at them, um, make sure to check out the description. And for now, I am going to chain up 60 so um, that my sweater is a bit oversized. But don't worry, just do your 60 chain ups and then um, I'm going to show you how it will fit with if you did like 60 or when you should um, add some more or do some less. I'm going to show you later. So start with 60 chain ups and then we're going to meet back. Here we go. These are my 60 chains. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on my body, like where you can measure if you need to add some more chains or some less chains. So for me, as you can see, 60 chains is like kind of like from drop shoulder to drop shoulder <laughs> because I want my sweater to be kind of like like that the sleeves start not here but there so that's why i do um, the front piece a bit longer and also because the body part then is going to be oversized like this and not tight so just make sure that if you want it to be very tight that you don't do the shoulders this low because this is also how um kind of like oversized your body part will be of the top uh, because this is going to be the front and we're going to do the same length at the back. So, um, yeah, make sure that if you want it to be a bit more fitted than my fit, um, then you can probably go like for, I don't know, 10 or 20 chains less. And if you want it to be a bit even more oversized, um, just add some more chains and then it should fit. <laughs> Now we're going to do the first row and the stitch that I always use for this look is the half double crochet. So we're not going to do a proper double crochet. We're going to do the double crochet half and then slip through everything. I'm going to show you one time and also I'm going to link another tutorial down below. Right before we're going to start, we're going to add another one to the row. Then we're going to take our yarn skip this one on the loop, skip the next one, and we're going to add our first half double crochet to this one. As always, we're going to go to the top two loops like this, so that we're having one on the downside of our hook and two on the top side. Um, just make sure that if you look um, from the top at your chains, that you're seeing always always like these like V parts and not this side. So make sure to find your right side. For me, it's this one with all the pretty Vs and just go back to your hook and just take your yarn to the hook, skip this one on the hook, the next one and go through these two top loops, these two. So we're going to take the yarn, skip this one on the hook, skip the next V and go through this V part. The, like this, so that we have these on the top and one on the down side. Take our yarn, slip it through. Then we should have three on the top. And what we're going to do now is not go through two and then another two we're gonna take the yarn and slip through all the three that's what we're going to do for all these 60 chains and then we're going to meet back for the next row wow you guys the sun is out um, i'm about to do my last chains like half double crochets and then we're gonna go to the next row and as you already saw right here, I always do the rows or like did the rows very randomly. So sometimes I did two rows or only like one and a half row. Then I did 
only the end of the row. It's kind of like I just did it randomly. So for now, I'm going to show you how to start the next row if you use the same color. So you're just going to chain up one, turn around the project, and you're going to start with your half double crochet right into this first loop right here. So this is your first half double crochet you did, like this one. And you want to go through this first loop in the middle of the two um, you did. So like this is one half double crochet. This right here is another one. In the middle, there's this loop where you're going to go for your first half double crochet in row number two. And from now on, you're always going to go through these big loops. I'm going to show you laying down. So, so you're always going to go through these big holes right here. And if you look from the top, you will always, as in the first row, see these V parts. And you always want to have these at the top of your hook. So if you have your loop on your hook and take the yarn, you want to go through these two top, like this top V part from the side, it looks like this. From the top, it looks like this. Hope it makes sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So you're going to go for another random amount of half double crochets. And then I'm going to show you how to switch colors. So I'm just going to do, I don't know, I'm just going to continue for a few more stitches. <laughs> so now I want to add another color. For example, this yellow. So that means we're going to cut off the yarn we used for the first row. And we're going to take our next yarn. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your next half double crochet. You're going to take your yarn, go through the loop, take the yarn through. But now we're not going to close um, the half double crochet with the brown yarn. We're going to use the new yarn. We're going to put it right here. Take it like this. We're going to take the new yarn color and slip it through. Don't worry if everything is a bit loose, you can always pull everything together. And now, without securing anything, we're just going to go for our next half double crochet with our new yarn color into this next loop. And that's my favorite way to switch colors, just because it's almost seamless, in my opinion. And you have these two ends just like casually hanging down there. <laughs> I really love the look of it. So. I like that. And I'm gonna continue with the yellow color until I'm at the end of the row. Then I'm gonna show you once again how to start with the next row. And then I am going to let you continue um, the rest of the front part or back part, whatever part you're going to do. Um, I'm gonna leave it all to you with all the ideas you have. But I'm, of course, going to show you um, my square, like how it turns out in the end, um, as a little reference. If you need some more guidance, it's completely fine. So, for the last stitch, this is going to be a bit more complicated because for the last stitch, always make sure that you get this very last chain. Because sometimes it may look a bit hidden like this. And if you start with your new row now, before finding this last stitch and turn it around, it's not going to be a straight line in the end. And we want a straight line in the end. We don't want the piece to get smaller and smaller in each row. So just make sure that before starting your row, new row, that you really find this last stitch and do your last half double crochet. If you're not sure if you have one half double crochet left, just count. To be honest, just count. <laughs> because if you don't count and in the end your row looks like this, you're going to be sad. So just count. <laughs> and then you can chain up, turn around and start again. Um, and you can always kind of like stretch it a bit so that you can see your first half double crochet here, your second one here 
and then you know that this one right in the middle of these two is your first loop where you're going to go for your first half double crochet and this is how you're going to do the next i don't know how many rows you want to do but just so that you're happy for my piece for this beauty this is going to be my front part but i'm also going to add some more rows now but this part i didn't choose the colors but some of my friends did or more like strangers <laughs> because i was at the google pixel event and this is where i let strangers choose the colors and rows of this piece <laughs> so this is just an example on like how my random imperfect top sweater part front part <laughs> um, got chosen so if you also want to let other people choose your sweater go for it ask your friends ask your mom random colors then you don't have to think let the other think <laughs> um, yeah this is how my part got created and i'm just going to continue for a few more rows and then i'm going to show you my final top part and what it looks like on me and how you can choose for yourself how many rows fit best let's go I have a little update for you. So this is the current state of my front piece and I'm still not sure how long I want it to be. I think I'm gonna add a few more rows but this you can if you put it like this like this as your neckline the, these on your shoulders then this is how long your sweater is going to be. So if you want it to be long you can add a lot of more rows <laughs> if you want it to be this short like a crop top kind of vibe you can leave it like this i think i want something in between like kind of um, belly length so probably adding a few more rows but this is my sweater it's a little update for you i also started the back piece but it's still a lot shorter but this <laughs> This is what it's going to be in the end. So front part, back part, sleeves we're gonna add last. Let's continue. Woo! Happy Monday! I have an update for you guys because this is everything we're gonna need for the whole sweater. And I'm gonna show you, so you can recreate the pieces. And there you have a reference, if you need a reference for your color combination. <laughs> this looks crazy. Okay, let me show you. So first of all, I'm gonna explain to you why we have four squares. Um, if you see my last sweater tutorials, you might now realize the difference because this time, we are doing the front and the back part, as usual, like this. And in the last tutorials, I connected this and then started doing the sleeves, like kind of crocheting them around. I don't know if that makes sense. But this time I decided to make the sleeve parts extra. So this is the sweater and then we have the sleeves which we are going to connect there. And I'm still not sure if I maybe want to do it like this, like the lines like this, or if I want to do it like that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to decide that later. Maybe I'm going to pin it together and then see what I like more. But I'm going to lay them down for you now. I'm going to show you the exact measurements. So these are the first two pieces that you need to create. It's the front and the back piece. So this is the front piece and this is the back piece. This one is um, the one that I created at the Google Pixel event. <laughs> this one I um, did over the past week. So if you need some 
color combination inspo. I'm going to show them to you um, one by one. So this piece is 60 chains long and I did 33 rows of half double crochets. But as I already told you, if you want the sweater to be a bit longer or even shorter, more cropped, um, you can just do less or more rows. So this is going to be my front or my back part. And then you have to do this whole piece a second time. So like 60 chains long, 33 rows. And um, this is my second piece. So that we have one for the front and one for the back. But yeah, if you need some color, color combination inspo, this is mine. And these are the other two pieces that you need for the sleeves. For me, I did um, 50 chains and then 34 rows, I think. Um, you can just um, look whatever length of sleeves you want to have. So if you want longer sleeves than I do, um, you can just add some more chains, but I'm going to show you now how to connect the sweater and you can clip everything together and then have a look um, if you need more rows or less or whatever. So these are the four pieces you have right now. These are the 50 chains, so 50 chains, 50 chains, 60 chains, 60 chains. And um, this is the middle body part and this is where your hat is going to be. And these are your arms. So you have two options now. You can either do it like this or like this. So either you choose the sleeves to be same with the rows, like your body part, like this. I think it's horizontal. <laughs> or you do it um, opposite way. I don't know what I like most. So I'm going to pin one down like this and one the other way. And um, then I'm going to have a look what I like most. But here's the little overview. And um, this is also the way that we're going to connect it now. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take these type of clips now and attach them to my sweater. Take your sweater like this. You're gonna, gonna pull your hat through. <laughs> and this. Oh my god. This is what it could look like. <gasps> I love this one. What do you think? I also feel like this is the perfect length for my arm. And this is a bit short. And if I want the sleeve to be in this direction, I would have to add some more rows. But this, I can't decide, I love both sides. Fuck. But as you can see, this is, how we're going to connect it so so all these parts where the different pieces um, are right now just pinned together we're going to connect also right here like there like this we're going to connect at the end but this is just perfect for you um, to also see if you need so to add some more rows for example right here if you want the sweater to be longer or shorter you can now um, maybe some more rows or whatever you like but i really like this you guys i'm back i tried on both ways so the sleeves like this and the other way and i kind of am more loving the other way so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to clip these off <laughs> and i'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to find the prettiest way to attach the sleeves like this. I'm also thinking about 
connecting them this way so that the connecting part is on top of my arm and then it will be in the same line as the shoulder connecting part. Well, I couldn't describe this any more complicated, <laughs> um, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> so make sure that you have all of the parts where your ends are leaving out on one side. So this, for example, I have to turn around um, like this so that you have these leftover yarn thingies on one side and on the other side not. So this is what I got. It's a bit thicker than this yarn I've used. Um, it's a bit of a chunky wool. And I think it's gonna be very cute for the look because um, I wanna connect it with this pretty stitch that looks like, kind of like, knitted together. Um, I'm gonna link the tutorial for the connecting stitch part um, in the description because it's a bit complicated to explain, but you can connect the pieces however you want to connect them. You can stitch them together with a needle, you can crochet them together with whatever stitch you want to use. I'm going to use this one that I always use and I'm going to start with this neck part. So I'm going to start, this is where my head is, this is here, and I'm going to start right there this part, this is this part. This is what we're gonna stitch together now and because I want the sleeve to be like this and because I want the sleeve to have the connecting stitch at the top so that it connects perfectly with the shoulder part, I'm gonna kind of like flip it together like this and I'm gonna connect from here down to there. But feel free to connect however you want to connect it. This is just my personal preference. But yeah, let's go. So this piece, I'm gonna fold like this so that the connecting part is right here on top. And now, important, you have to turn this, like switch it to the right side. So this is your outside of the sweater um, with all of the leaving out parts and you're now going to take your yarn and you're going to stitch from right here over there to the end so this to there I'm going to use this eight millimeter hook because this yarn is way chunkier. <laughs> and I'm gonna start connecting. And the connecting stitch I'm gonna use is linked down below. So I'm gonna slip this through. Chain up one. And now I'm always gonna take one from this side and one chain from this side. And I'm gonna pull the yarn through like this. One from this side one from this side, pull the yarn through and slip stitch. From this side, this side, pull the yarn through, slip stitch. And you're gonna continue with your connecting stitch till you are at this end right here. I'm about to do my last two stitches um, before connecting to the sleeve part and we're kind of going to just continue with our connecting stitch same way but right there so i'm gonna do my last one last one is always the trickiest of them all found it <laughs> i'll slip it through now i'm just gonna continue right here as if i would continue connecting on this piece you know what i mean so I'm gonna take this very first stitch right there on this side. Let's find it. I think it's this one. 
and on the other side there I'm gonna take the yarn slip it through them and through this and I'm gonna continue like this so I'm always gonna take this next stitch this one then on the other side the same one and slip it through then this one this one slip it through and I am going to continue with this until I arrive at the very end of the sleeve so just continue and we're gonna meet when you're finished so now I'm gonna do one two chain ups gonna cut off the excess yarn and gonna slip it through and pull it tight this is what it should look like it's a bit weird because this is your neck part then here it starts and <laughs> the sleeve is still completely loose only this should be secured so now we are having this beautiful one line connecting stitch part <laughs> now we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side of the project So both of the sleeve shoulder parts are connected and now we are going to flip it like this so that your sweater is laying right there just like it would be on a hanger. So fold your sleeve right there, lay it down like this so that the hat part like this is where your hat is going to be in the end mm, so that this is um, on top and here is the sleeve connecting part we just did and now what we're going to do is we are going to connect the sleeve so we're now going to start right there i'm going to connect it all around and then last step in the end is going to be this little part. So now you can again use whatever technique you want to use to connect this part. And then you can go around and kind of like continue on the other side till you are again here. So I'm going to use same stitch as I did right here. I'm just going to start there and continue all around. So now it should look like this. And we have officially connected our first sleeve. Yay! Um, now we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side, on this other sleeve. And then we only have these parts left that we have to connect and then we're finished. Um, so let's continue. I'm so excited for this piece to be finished. <laughs> Can't wait. I also really love that I chose the arms. To be different than my usual projects because if you know my usual sweater long sleeve sweaters you know that i always do my sleeves in like the exact other way and not this long way but i really am loving it and i think it's going to be something a bit different so let's see i'm just going to do the other sleeve and then i'm going to meet back with you guys Guys, 
this is the final sweater. <laughs> I love it so much. I hope you love yours too. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was the imperfect sweater tutorial. I hope you were able to understand everything. <laughs> I tried my best with the explaining. Um, and I can't wait to see your recreations. So, as you know, this is my favorite part. So, if you recreated this beauty, go send me your pictures on Instagram or tag me or whatever. I want to see. And now, I wish you all an amazing rest of the day. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. If you have any ideas for my next tutorial, give me some inspo. <laughs> And now have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye. Makes me wanna be with you for long.